being an underdog is not a bad thing. You know what? Doubt me all you want to. I have nothing to prove to you. I have everything to prove to myself. I thought that it was going to be a lot easier for me to shut it off. I'm still an athlete. Motherhood isn't going to change that part of me. walk today at 2k my mom is watching sky who's a week old today crazy i can't believe that she's already a week old time has gone by so quickly and yeah we're all good i'm happy to be outside although it's kind of hard to leave her even just for 20 minutes but good for her to get some grandma time can't be having indentation from a silly bow. Hi, Chelsea! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh my gosh, mm, lovely as ever. Oh, it's so good to see you. I have known you for a very long time. I think since 2007, we were teammates at UC Berkeley and you were a senior when I was a freshman. And just so that our triathlon audience can get to know you, you are a multi-time national champion, American record holder, world championship medalist, probably Olympic medalist, the talent of a generation, the best 800 meter runner this country has ever seen. And like, quite frankly, it's like a whole nother level of inspiration. That was such a robust introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Just so everybody knows, athletes, we, we all have to be our best cheerleaders. So we talk ourselves up. I was like, I'm the shit. I'm gonna make this team and I'm freaking meddling. Like that was just not, not happening. So I was like very focused on doing everything within my power to stay the course of like meddling back to back to back. Cause I was just on so much fire. I felt it everywhere within my bones. And I was like, if I meddle in all of those championships, I think it's a great time to start a family. You decide to get pregnant in 2014. And I mean, you're still at the pinnacle of your career when you yeah. get pregnant with Linnea. The thing I dislike about that hindsight thought process is also like the earning to have a family. Like, you know, like I have to earn all of these things to have a family, but also part of it was just being driven in this career path for me. And I was thinking about how long I want my career to be. Like I want to break all these ridiculous stereotypes that are placed on women on how long their careers can last. Like we see, we have all these examples of men who have these very long, robust careers that keep just climbing, climbing, and they break all these barriers, and it's so exciting to watch. And then when we watch our women, it's like, oh, she's getting married. It's over after this. Oh, she's gonna have kids. It's over. Like, I'm like, do you guys hear yourselves? Uh, that's obviously why I left Nike. I had a very uh, blunt conversation about like, hey, what would happen if I were to become pregnant? This is in, in 2012. Um, if I were to become pregnant, because I'm thinking through this. Career planning, like any other, any woman should have the prerogative to do. Absolutely, exactly. And so, um, and th but they were like, we would just pause your contract, stop paying you. I'm like, oh, okay, that doesn't really, that doesn't feel like you are really supporting my career. And like, this is a real partnership. And like, is that really just like what's happening? And oh, man, every time I hear um, an athlete also, you know, choosing motherhood, I, am 100% game on like what do you need like how do I support you you know like and 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 that's part of I think what that cycle looks like you know that cycle of change of uplifting and supporting and yeah I'm very inspired by you and your efforts and just like sharing all of the things that you're sharing and and the way that you're really um putting yourself out there from a visibility aspect to make change I hate the fact that we we have to be like these martyrs to sh like show all of these things that we go through, but I love so much that we do get to see it again. Well, we're back at the uh, doctor's office again because she continues to have trouble eating. 
trying to like reconcile giving up breastfeeding, which is really hard and sad, but um, I think like the most important thing is that she's healthy. Um, but I'm trying to like suss out how this um, like factors into me being able to like start doing my job again. <laughs> yeah, but I think I just feel like a little heartbroken that it's not like the whole experience that I wanted for her and for me. This feels really hard today. I am so tired. And my body feels kind of beat up. And I just... I feel very intimidated by my goals at the moment. <laughs> uh, it's crazy how like one day I just, I feel like proud about any little amount of progress I am making and then, you know, today just feels like shitty, but progress is not linear in sport or really much of anything, I don't think. I was terrified if I, if I didn't make the cut, if I didn't make the team, if I didn't, all these things. And the only way that I could not be terrified and kind of stand within my own body and my own mind is if I kept it to myself. Um, and questions coming in, like, are you going to be able to compete? Are you going to be able to do this? Are you going to be able to do that? And then it allowed for me to reframe my thinking in a way where I was able to tell myself, Alicia, you know, the, you have done hard things. You have done so many hard things. Your North Star is happiness. This is why you chose family. Your North Star is happiness. So stick to that, remove everything else, and everything that follows that is gonna be great. I don't know, it's fucking amazing. I'm not having to pee every three minutes while I'm a trainer. So at the moment, I think we're in this stage what I like to call the train to train phase where we're just really getting Chelsea to a position where she's able to train and tolerate a reasonable training load. My power is up like 30 plus watts. Do it, do it. And realistically for her to be able to train and race effectively, we need to be able to tolerate a good amount of training load, a good amount of volume. And that's definitely gonna be in excess of 20 hours a week. Oh, come on, you can do it. My swim is improving exponentially. So as long as Chelsea can get there and stay healthy, stay stress-free, we can get all those things in place and she copes with the training well, I think she'll definitely get to where she needs to be. I got six hours of sleep straight last night thanks to my amazing co-parent and husband Stephen who fed Sky. Uh, he did the 4.30 a.m. feeding so I got to sleep till 7.30 and I feel amazing. If I had only gotten six hours of sleep pre-baby I would have been a hot mess but my perspective for what a good night's sleep is now has totally changed. If I'm ever able to get eight to nine hours of sleep un uninterrupted again, I'm gonna be like fucking superwoman. I don't really think if you're semi-committed, nothing can work in terms of elite sport. If you're, even if it's a, you're going for a world championships or an Olympic goal, the Collins Cup win, be the big goal, you simply cannot get there unless you are 100% committed. And what Chelsea's doing is she's actually added another layer to an already very big goal. So if, if Chelsea isn't 100% committed to achieving what she wants to achieve, I really don't think it would be possible to, to get where she wants to go. Unique event here at Daytona. 44 acre lake, 2.8 mile track, all in the most iconic stadium in the planet. How about the fact that the top 40 PTO ranked female athletes are in this field? The feeling down here is electric. This is a, a just an unbelievable feeling. I wish everyone could uh, go through what I'm experiencing right now. 
I thought that it was going to be a lot easier for me to shut it off and to just like check out. In fact, the opposite has been true. How edgy I felt like during watching Daytona, like, oh, like that's not going away. I'm still an athlete. Motherhood isn't going to change that part of me. I think there's fear with women, like, what is this going to do to my psyche? Am I going to, like, still be the same me when I come back from this? You know, I have this really ambitious goal uh, to qualify for one of our sports, like, greatest team competitions. And I've been getting a lot of questions like, why would you want to do that? Why do you think you can do that? Well, A, like this is my job and I love my job and it's part of who I am and it fills me up and B, like I've got bills to pay, you know? You want to do this? You need to do this. Come in with that gritty face, dust yourself off like, by the way, all you guys are going down, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to like show up on the start line and say like, I am the best here.